so hello everyone in this video I'll be telling you how you can add the functionality of reset counter or the countdown so right now this button is there let me just submit it again right now this button is there reset but it doesn't do anything and the same goes for the complete screen uh, there we have a new countdown button as well but that is also not doing anything so for that we'll be just creating one reset function that will reset the countdown and the complete screen so let me just create this function inside that what we want to do is first we want to hide the countdown element what was the name counter element maybe yeah we have to hide this counter element by adding it through and also we want to hide the complete screen because we are doing for the bow for both and then we want to stop the counter as well or the countdown as well in this we'll be passing that variable which was countdown active so it will stop the count, uh, in, interval or the interval function or countdown specifically so it will stop that countdown if we click on that reset button otherwise it will uh, like go on and uh, show us the countdown as well and it will in the background it will process that so we have we are stopping this by using this clear interval we have already did this uh, previously so you have the better idea yeah now we want to show the counter form or the countdown form so the area is counter form area so we'll be unhiding that so for doing that we need countdown form counter form what is that yeah counter form area dot hidden it should be false because we want to unhide it or we want to show it also uh, we want to add the title to none because if that's there so we don't want that yeah this should not be now th this should work let's add this reset into any of the button which is there for now there is a counter reset button we'll be accessing that we'll be adding an event listener an event will be of click and then we'll be resetting this or we'll be uh, specifying the reset function if i do that then what will happen is if i click on the submit button you can see the countdown is there but if i click on this reset button it should uh, be normalized you can see that it is normalized now if I want to change anything so I can do that if I click on this submit again you can see that it is there if I click on reset it's again gone yeah so this we wanted to do and then we need to add this functionality to the new count countdown as well or the come at the complete screen there is a button new countdown on that we'll be adding the same thing so we'll be repeating the thing which is there this one and we'll be doing that for the complete button yeah for this one if I do that let me just go to there yeah if I add the today's date then the countdown will be completed yeah you can see that and if I click on this new countdown now so it is resetting that so this we wanted to do and that's completed in the next video I'll be showing you how you can make the countdown uh, to store the things local in inside the local storage uh, right now it is not doing that if I click on submit countdown is there but if I click on this refresh icon then this countdown will be lost so you can see that so that we'll be doing inside the next video we'll be accessing the 
local storage and we'll be storing the information inside the local storage and then uh, after refreshing that uh, the countdown will not be lost until we click on this uh, reset icon or reset button so thank you for watching this video we'll meet in the another one